chair for the Seagull River, Peter Dalton. But these folks are more than most of the technical work. Bruce made sure, Bruce showed me that we got the operation set up. And running the digging, as much as they just happened, was also to make The thing I want to point out specifically, they made 90,000 phone calls out of Tulsa. It's, in, it's a meeting of the Republican Party Central Committee. Daniel Palmer is a member of the committee. So, is it, is it, I'm trying to explain, because I don't know how to explain it to him. Is, is there like specific members that can only come to this type of meeting? No. As long as you're elected, and Daniel Palmer was elected, he is a member of this committee. Oh, he is? Yes. Yeah, well, so, I, I, see, I don't understand all the political now, stuff, but what I'm trying to figure out is if he's... He's so attempting to document what's going on in these meetings, yeah. right. and okay. um, he's not... Hold on one second. So what I'm trying to figure out. Hey. Hey, Officer Nolak, hold on one second. So what I'm trying to figure out is... I just want to disturb these guys. I'm trying to step out here. But as a, I don't know. What's an elected... Uh, what I'm trying to figure out is what is in, in, his, in his district, uh, he was elected as the bonus vote. What's that mean? Bonus vote is a seat, is a position on the Republican Party Central Committee. So he has a seat on his board. Yes, he does. And then the, the feeling of, of hold on. So the, you want to step out so we can talk, so we don't disturb you guys. Yeah, I think you're. you're right. You guys are. You guys are being used as tools in this process. I have no idea. We're just here to keep the peace right now and figure out what's actually going on. So. <laughs> I don't want to miss my roll call. Oh, yeah, don't miss it. Yeah, that's... Yeah, so we were just trying to figure out... Jim, are across? Here. Edna DeVries? Here. Tim Deeks? Yes. Chris McMullins? Here. Lisa Santieri? Here. Kevin Casper? But that's not in the rules, okay? Kyle Easterby? I have to figure out. Yeah, I have to. Mike Paulson, David Morgan, Kirk Wickersham. Hey, I'm by proxy. You have David. Randy Stevens, Gloria Schreiber. Um, I have.
Brand. Richard Sherman. It was also, yeah, it wasn't properly done in the first place. Well, that's not but it's all Dr. internal Dr. issues, and it's trumped by Alaska wiretap law, which I do have the statutes sitting in my book bag right now. Can you see the statute for that? Uh, sure. Deborah Brown. Stephanie Madison. Sorry about the print or not really fine print. But this is the simplified version and on the other uh, on this other page, this is the exact the entire listing of the actual Alaska website. I'm sorry about the small print, but I couldn't really do much about Lance it. Lance Bruin? Crazy. Kevin Meyer? Yeah. Jeff Bruin? Yeah. Yeah. Charlie Hunted? It would be um, the first section uh, three hundred I don't remember that. Uh, I 
So the police are kind of, they're, they're kind of being used as tools in this process. And uh, Daniel has printed out the exact Alaska statutes to explain why we think we're within our legal rights to record the meetings. No, no, but I just now took a seat on the, on the I, I wasn't seated before when this occurred in Fairbanks. You're on the Central the Committee now? Yes. You're a member of the committee. Yes. And you've been filming the whole thing on your phone? I mean, I know you have There's been a couple in there doing it. As I've said, we're not here to do the filming. Sure. We're here because they want him to leave. Yes. Because he's obviously filming. They don't like him. They don't like you, Dano. <laughs> But, but actually, there's a lot of support in there. They can only do that for discussion issues and still I'm a voting member. So it works. I would still be recording. You're also a member of the Central Committee? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. And you're a voting member of the Central Committee? Yes, he is. Huh? You're seated? Yes. I just want to Give me a mic. So there's no difference if Daniel records or I record or Dick records. So, uh, uh, you're going to reduce it to Oh, well, well, I mean, you'll need to cut it into a, this into a fashion that we can use it. But, um, probably, probably, uh, probably won't be very usable. Uh, maybe some parts are usable. But here's the thing is, is I'm just doing it so that there's another person recording. Other than just Daniel. That's right. all. So they took him down. They're arresting him. No, I don't think they will. <coughs> and and now, that, now that there's a little bit of legal advice out there, they, they probably won't. And Daniel does have the statutes printed out. Uh, record everything that we're doing. Uh, I would ask to review that motion that no recordings be made other than the official recording, which is being done by our secretary and which is
let the part of the jury has advised me that I should have properly allowed the maker of the motion and the second to speak before allowing an amendment. So I was hoping I could take it and come back to the amendment. Frank? As I said, this is simply redoing something that is already, has already been passed and is in effect, an attempt to reinforce and underline our ability at this time to evict anybody who's late other than the official reporting of the meeting. I think Mr. Flurry already summarized a few of the many, many reasons why this is appropriate. I would reiterate again that this is a private organization. It is a political organization. Our right to conduct our business in private has been validated in the courts all the way to the Supreme Court for political parties, not just Republicans, Democrats, and all others, do have the right and the ability to conduct their business in private. Did you wish to speak to your second? I believe last time we made a provision for recording for administrative purposes only. And the chairman wants to turn the gavel over to you, Mr. Culligan. The RMC, our current organization, 